Hey, I'm Cameron McKenzie. I'm the editor-in-chief over at the serverside.com. You can follow me on Twitter, at CameronMCNZ. And in this tutorial, I wanted to show you how to merge any branch into the master branch on GitLab. As with all things, this tutorial starts off with logging into the GitLab administrative console and then opening up my GitLab Made Easy project. And in this case, I'm gonna take a look at all the different branches that I've got. I've got a master branch, there are one, two, three, four, five files into the master branch. And I've also got a hotfix branch. There are one, two, three, four files in this hotfix branch. Now what I'd like to do is I'd like to merge this hotfix branch into master to demonstrate the steps you need to go through in order to merge any branch, be it the hotfix branch or any branch you, can, you create into the master branch in GitLab. Now, this particular branch is actually behind the master branch. So in, or <clears throat> so in order to make it merge worthy, I have to add a file here. Now, to do that, I'm just going to go into the web IDE. This is a great little tool for just quickly adding files to a given branch. And I click this little button here to create a new file, and I'm going to call it my hotfix. I'm going to create the file. There it is there. There's nothing in it. I don't even have to put anything in it really. I'm going to commit that file. Commit it to the hotfix branch. I'm not going to start a new merge request quite yet. There we go. We have our new file committed. I can actually even go back to GitLab Made Easy, take a look at my repository branches, and you can see here that if I want to go in and take a look at the hotfix branch, we go. 15 seconds ago, we've got a merge. There's the merge ID, and that includes my hotfix file. However, if I take a look at the master branch, I don't have the hotfix in the master branch. So I need to merge the hotfix branch into the master branch. So how do you do that? Well, if you're a developer, what you do is you go in and you click on this merge request link. The master branch is protected. I can even prove that if I look at the repository here. Take a look at protected branches. And you can see here that only certain people have the ability to merge and only certain people have the ability to push to the master branch. And you can change that, right? So sometimes it's no one, maintainers, developers, and maintainers. But there's only certain people that can merge into the master branch. So if you're trying to actually do a merge into the master branch in your own GitLab environment and it's not working, it might actually be because you're not in the maintainer's role. You may only be a developer. So as a developer, what you do is you go into this merge requests window and you say, hey, I'm going to create a new merge request. And I want that hotfix branch to be merged into the master branch. You click compare branches and continue. A little bit of a check to make sure that there's no conflicts that are obvious will appear. It'll actually put a title in. I'm going to accept the default. You can even write a little description in there, which isn't a bad idea. And then who do you assign it to? Now, I've only got one user here, but as you could imagine, you know, you're going to have different users set up in your environment. I've only got, I'm only using the root user here because I don't, if anybody's watching this tutorial, I don't want to all of a sudden have them get to this screen and I've got, you know, 50 different users here and they're like, where are those people come from? So currently I'm logged in as root, um, but let's just pretend I'm logged in as a developer and let's pretend root here is a maintainer. I select somebody who's in that maintainer role as the assignee. I say, hey, let's submit this merge request to merge this branch into master, it just happened to be the hotfix branch. And then a merge request goes to whoever I assigned it to. Now I'm going to log out. And I'm going to log back in again. But just pretend with me that I'm logging back in as a different user who's in that maintainer role. They would log in, they would click on the GitLab Made Easy repository and they'd see, oh look, there's a merge request. And they'd say, hey, look, you know, administrator, whoever that is, I've uh, never met them, but I hear good things about them. They've got a merge request to update the my hotfix into the master directory, master branch. And they can see here now the request is to merge the hotfix into master. There are no merge conflicts. So now the person who is in that maintainer role will just click merge. 
and all of a sudden those files that are in that hotfix branch will get merged into the master branch. And I can prove that by going into branches under the repository, looking at master, and now you can see that my hotfix.html file is in master. It wasn't in there earlier. And so that's how you do a merge. Of course, if you've done a merge, you might want to update your users, especially ones that are working on the master branch, which they should not be. But uh, any, you know, if you do some merges, maybe there'll be a, a continuous integration, continuous deployment. People need to update their environments. I'm going to move into my GitLab made easy directory. You can see that I do not have the hotfix file here. Um, although I don't know what branch I'm on. Oh yeah, I'm on the master branch. So right now I've only got one, two, three, four, five files there. But if I do a git pull, all of a sudden I get a lot of information here about synchronizing master to master, hotfix to hotfix. And if I do an ls in this folder now, you'll notice that the my hotfix file is available locally. So now I've got one, two, three, four, five, six files. Whereas when I did the ls before the pull, I only had one, two, three, four, five. So you can see that not only has this merge request been successful on the server, but the clients have now been able to pull those changes down to their local file system. And there you go. That's how easy it is to merge any branch into the master branch on GitLab with a GitLab pull request. Now, if you're interested in more GitLab tutorials or even follow through on these series of GitLab tutorials, head over to the server side to find out more information. And of course, we got all sorts of stuff on everything from agile methodologies to enterprise development. So if it has to do with the server side of the middle tier, uh, you'll find lots of information over there. And please follow me on Twitter at Cameron. MCNZ.